Hi, on today's video, I want to teach you how you can start a successful 100 layers farm. So, watch this video to the end and like the video. Make sure you watch the video to the end if you really want to understand what I'm going to teach you. It is as simple as because I'm going to give you the estimate of what you are going to need as you are embarking in the poultry journey. So, Watch this video to the end if you really want to start off a successful 100 layers farm. So, first of all, before you start up, you are going to need a 13 feet by 13 feet. That is the housing. As a, a 13 feet by 13 feet is uh, the housing. So, as you can see around, this is the housing and you can see the spacing and uh, everything. They are very comfortable. So, 13 feet by 13 feet. Uh, is the uh, length and the width of the housing. So that's the first thing you need because definitely when the beds come back, they are going to stay in the house. So that's the first thing that you'll need. The second thing that you'll need is their feeder. Their feeder, if you are to use this type of feeder, if you are to use this type of feeder, you need it like 12, 12 of this type. But you know, it's depending on the size of the feeder. They have the feeder different sizes. So if you are to use this type of feeder, you have to buy it 12 of them. And uh, you can hang it. You can hang the feeder. Don't drop it on the ground. So i don't know i i will not be saying the prices because it's depending on your location depending on how much they are selling it i'm just doing this video after doing it you can just go and uh, make uh, inquiries on uh, on on your budget or that kind of stuff so i have another type of feeder which i want to show you right now i have a wooden feeder that i want i want I want to be showing you the wooden feeder that I'm using. So I have this type of feeder again. So this is the feeder that I'm using. And uh, the, uh, the feeder is uh, four feet by, uh, the width is just around the uh, four inches or so. So the feeder, this type of feeder is a wooden feeder, which I will be making a video on how you can construct it. And uh, if you are to use this type of feeder, you 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 should buy it ten of this feeder for hundred layers, which will help them to feed comfortably. So, ten of these feeders is good for a uh, hundred laying beds. So, that is it for the feeders. So another thing again, I have the drinker. I'm using this type of drinker. You need this type of drinker. You need it like five of them. You can use any any stuff to serve as their drinker. But this particular drinker that I'm using, I have it around five of them, which I'm using. The only deal there is to make sure that they don't run out of water. So you can buy any type of drinker, provided that they, they cannot poop in the drinker. So this type of drinker is okay and any other or any kind of drinker can serve provided they don't lack water so the price is uh, depending on uh, where you are staying so you can make inquiries and know how much they are selling each of the drinker so you need it like five of them so that is it for the drinkers another thing again you need they are feed they are feed you know uh in their first two months they they do it a starter so you are going to provide about six to seven six to seven bags of starter feed any type of starter feed but make sure it has it have a high protein and the other mineral stuffs they make sure it's a quality feed so that they will be able to grow fast. You feed them like six bags to seven bags of uh, that uh, starter feed for two months before you introduce grower mash. 
grower mash, you need 15 to 20 bags of uh, feed. That's a uh, grower mash. You need the uh, uh, 15 to 20 bags of feed, a uh, grower mash feed for them, which they will eat within the period of nine weeks to uh, 18 weeks before they start laying eggs. So with the, uh, with, uh, this, uh, with this estimate that I've just made for you now, you can easily start uh, a, lay, a layers farm with it. Even though I will not, uh, I will not recommend you to buy the whole feed at once because uh, all these uh, uh, all these uh, poultry feed they do expire within a period of uh, three months or so. So it's better for you to be buying it like two bags or so. Don't just buy all of them once because I've just made the estimate or that kind of stuff so that you will not be at lost. So always buy it small, small. I'm just giving you the estimate of uh, the amount of feed you need. So the price varies depending on the on your location. So and uh, after you have made the estimate and uh, calculate everything that uh, does, if you go for the feeder, you know the price. You go for the drinker, you know the price. You go for the feed, you know the price. Then you calculate it all depending on your location. Then you know how much you keep for your uh, budget or that kind of stuff. And also the housing. The housing is uh, it is a little bit expensive, but you can still do it. You can manage the housing. If you check uh, down in my channel, you'll see the video I have made about uh, uh, poultry housing or that kind of stuff which you can also construct your own housing the same way uh, for uh, less capital. You, you can use the less capital for your chicken house construction. So check down below to watch the video and see how you can make an easy chicken house for yourself. So, and another thing again, you have to keep extra money. Apart from the feeder, drinker, the feed, itself and the housing you have to keep extra money for vaccination you have to keep extra money for some uh, supplements like uh, multivitamin and the uh, other other drugs that you'll be using in your farm so uh, with all these things that i've just mentioned now at least you are good to go with uh, uh, five feeders uh, five drinkers uh, ten feeders and uh, 20, around 26 bags of feed, 26 bags of poultry feed, you are good to go. At least by then you you will now be you will now be going out checking out on other farmers, asking them on how they run it. And uh, in my next video, I will be updating you guys on how I grow my chicken, how I feed them. So so that you can feed them that way and uh, it will work for you as it worked for me. So stick around by subscribing to this YouTube channel so that we can be one family. Just subscribe. Subscription is free. Subscribe to support the channel and also support yourself as you learn from this channel. So subscribe so that whenever I upload a video about my farm, or updates based on my farm, you will be notified. You will be notified by YouTube. So subscribe here and then like this video if you find it interesting. And uh, I have uh, this my chicken that you are seeing right now. They are just uh, they are they are three days to their fourteen weeks of age, and they are almost at their point of lay. Their combs have come out, that kind of stuff. So uh, I have how I feed them, and uh, I will be teaching you guys here. And you will be notified only when you subscribe to this channel so that you can run a successful poultry farm. Subscribe here and tell me where you are watching from. I'm from Nigeria. Tell me where you are watching from in, your, uh, in this uh, comment section. So thank you for watching.
I wish you all the best as you run your poultry farm. One love.